the door runner again. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Hermit Craft. Today everyone, we are going to be moving our villagers that we bred in the last episode. By the way, they seem a bit stuttery because the server seems to be playing up a spidgen today. But I did breed these a little bit more off camera as you can see. I've also moved some all the way over here. Don't ask me why I've separated them, I couldn't tell ya. <laughs> but we have all of these in here as well. Looks like they're having a good old mother's meeting down here. You having fun? Looks like you are. <laughs> so what I've done is I have taken a rail from there and we have troweled it all the way up here. All the way up here. All the way up here. <laughs> I felt like I had to get higher, okay? And into the church. And this is where we are going to have our trading village hall thing. So they're probably going to go along the sides here, I would think think because i kind of want it to still look like a church inside so i was thinking maybe these could be i think it I, i'm not a holy person okay i don't go to church but i'm pretty sure there's like confession stuff so i was thinking of just doing like loads of like confession looking booths and then having looney will you stop scratching yourself and making your bell go so yeah now that looney stops scratching herself she's she's my cat by the way, just in case you didn't know. Um, I, I was thinking that in the middle here, we could just do like the little sitting area and then do like, I don't know, maybe we could have put a priest up there. Gold knows, I have no idea. But that is the plan. So I need to transport them all up here. All right, so I've done a little bit of work now. We now have some stalls actually set up. Because if you remember, I said I wanted to make them look a little bit like confession stalls. <laughs> I think this is pretty cool and we already have one of the villagers in it. Oh my god. Okay, I've already locked this bloke because he was so so good. Let's have a nosy. Look at that. Fire protection four. I don't know if that's expensive though. I've no, you don't know either. <laughs> I've taken them from down there and they've come all the way up here and Looney, will you stop? Looney's done this so many times in my video. She sits next to me, she scratches herself, and then all you can hear is a bell on her collar go off. But what I've done here is, up there, there's an activator rail. This is actually now powered, which means when I send them up here, it will actually just throw them out of the minecart. You can see it there, that one. Oh no, zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom, that one there <laughs> is now powered. So it will try and look for a block to chuck the villager out. And the closest block is the one at the front. So these wooden ones are actually temporary at the moment. But let's try and get one of these up and then you will see kind of how it goes. Even though I'm probably gonna have to chase them. Last time I just flew around and hoped for the best. <laughs> this time I'll try and chase them. All right, I have one. Let's get this out my hand. Now, let's hope that I can chase him all the way up. I don't think I'm going to be as fast. I'm not. No. Stuff this. I'm just going to fly. Fly. <laughs> I'm going to miss him. I'm going to miss him. No. Okay. Do I, do I see him? Is he already up here? Oh, no. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, there he is. There he goes. I didn't miss him. Hi, there we go, he's in. Um, apparently he takes on fisherman stuff because um, I may have some barrels in my bedroom. So they do take on the fisherman, but he should reset relatively soon. If I do this, will he reset? I think he needs to actually get rid of his thing. Uh, but they can't obviously get out of here because I've put a trap door here and you can actually just do that and say bye. And then hi. Right, there we go. He's reset. Now let's do this. He's going to take on a librarian, hopefully. If it's the right... No, is it not work time? <laughs> Please tell me it's work time and dog wants to leave at night. I'm pretty sure it should be. Please, become a librarian. Oh, yes, yes, yes. He loves me. Okay, what have we got? Hi. Oh, no. <laughs> you don't click this thing. <laughs> you click him. Dev Strider 1? I don't want that. I don't want that. So basically all you do to change the trades is do that. He'll lose his librarian. You do that again. He'll get librarian. And then you can check. Not that. Why do I keep clicking this? Click him. Smite five. Is that good? Do I want to keep that? 
So here they are, everyone, in all their glory. All of the beautiful villagers in their beautiful blue coats and beautiful spectacles, I have to say, are all now in place. I have pretty much everything. Let's quickly show you what I've got. I'm breaking free, fire protection four, silk touch, infinity, blast protection four, efficiency five. Now on the other side, Feather Falling 4, Protection 4, Mending, Respiration 3, Tectile Protection 4, if I could say that right. And last but not least, Looting 3. Now, obviously, these aren't all of the villagers that we will be needing book-wise, but we can get those off of enchantments anyway. So, all the librarians are in place and ready to get to work. I do also have a lot more villagers still left down here. I've continued to breed these ones. Gould knows if they're going to stop anytime soon. Maybe not because there's loads of beds, but we'll see. <laughs> so we have all of these ones. We have one that's just sitting here. We have him there and I have a couple over there. But I will let you know what I'm going to do with those in future episodes. Because we're not going to play about with those today. But as you can see as well, I do have a little tiny cat that I have decided to uh, breed and it's now mine. I don't know if it's his jelly though. I can't remember <laughs> if there was a cat like this already in Minecraft. Let me know in the comment section, everyone. Um, is this just a random cat or is this jelly? I don't know. It looks like jelly, but yeah, it could just be an OG. So the plan for now, everybody, is I want to do something that is going to make me a load of diamonds and become very, very, very rich. More richer. <laughs> More richer than I already am richnessist. And also, I'm probably going to end up doing up here. So yeah, up here, I'm probably going to do the enchanting station because I'm going to need that as well, which means I need a lot of books. And a diamond. Am I going mad? Because I keep finding remains of rabbit. And I'm not even joking, okay? I've got this rabbit hide. And the other day, I got this rabbit foot. Why am I getting remains of rabbit around my house when there are no rabbits? Is it you? Are you pooping rabbit stuff out? All right, so down here, I have a man. This man is an armorer master. So <laughs> I've made him into a master and now I'm going to buy all of the armor that I can possibly buy. Now I've been over to the lab that I share with his school and I've grabbed some emeralds. I do have some more up in the shulker boxes, but I'm going to try and get as much of this as I possibly can because our new shop that we are building <laughs> is going to be amazing i can't wait what has happened to green skin i was just over here playing about with villagers he comes over and looks like he's laying down on my floor <laughs> that's absolutely hilarious okay everyone i may have had a slight accident i'm so sorry and look, if I do this, look, oh, it's Jelly's head. I accidentally murdered Jelly. I have to say, though, it wasn't totally my fault. Jelly was following me to the Guardian farm. I was killing the Guardians and she was in with the Guardians. So, uh, it absolutely sucks. But on a good note, everyone, we do now have a head. No. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say that. Look at this box. Oh my God, everyone. I have eight sets of God armor. Now I haven't done the chest plate because I'm assuming that people aren't going to use the chest plate because they have their elytra. I feel like elytra is more important than the chest plate in the moment. And this, you don't really need a chest plate with. But what we are going to do with this 
is we are going to make a shop and we are going to sell these. First and foremost, we do need to go over and check out the chickens, but I just wanted to show you what this looks like with these stalls closed. Now the villagers should be nice and safe. So if a zombie was to get in, um, they won't die basically. Cause I'm, I don't know if, can a baby zombie get through this whole, I don't know if it can, but I don't know how this block works. If it's a full block or if something can jump on it. So better to be safe than sorry and close them up. So before I head on over to the chickens, I have to say a huge thank you to Iskul who has let me use his diamonds that I will replenish, I promise. But um, yeah, I kind of went through, this was like three rows. <laughs> I went through a lot of his emeralds, so we're gonna have to uh, use this farmer geezer when there's some more pump, pump, pump pumpkins about <laughs> um, and get those emeralds back for him. But what I was thinking was, I'ma leave him a present. Thank you for letting me borrow your emeralds, Prezi, for you and Magenta. So he has a set of the god armor over here which hopefully if he dies which he's done a few times <laughs> that'll actually save his bum i probably better let him know that something's over here though because i don't think he's been over here in a while so as the sun rises over the chicken coops i am going to do the last thing with claudia this is claudia's last cycle everyone so has she been fed she has Bless her, is she still in there? The good old bird, how are you, Claudia? Oh, bless her. There is Claudia's poop in her litter tray. Now let's age her. Claudia! Claudia, you were loved so much. You have been the oldest chick, Claudia. You have done all of us so proud. But I'm sorry. Your time has come to an end. I know, I'm sorry, but she was old. And here is Claudia's remains in with her white concrete powder. And she lasted eight cycles. I cannot believe that. There we go. And now for Fedora. What? Mumbo, no. You forgot about Fedora again. Oh, Fedora, I'm so sorry. Is everything okay, Fedora? Okay, well, let's hope that um, Mumbo comes over and feeds us soon. Otherwise, I feel like she may explode from constipation. Let's now head on over to the shopping district and see if we can find a location to put our new shop. So I've been looking around and I feel like this place here would be an amazing place to put our shop because we don't need that much space really. Uh, the only issue that I have is that we do have this shop here, which is um, now prou proudly. <laughs> with my mouth today, I can't talk. Proudly owned by a Concorp. We're gonna take the little hill just above that. Uh, so I do need to rip some of this back and hope that, um, yeah, it looks, like, well, it looks like we're good to have it at this level. So this is gonna be the size of the shop. I feel like it fits in pretty well. It's not too intrusive, is it? Um, I think though I am gonna have to do something with this terrain. I'm probably gonna have to make it look pretty and of course we need an entrance to the shop as well. Um, so in that regard I picked a tricky area. But what I want to do is I want to build this up maybe two, three, four, do I want it five maybe? Maybe one more. One more for luck. Six and then we will go all the way across here. Then we'll stick a block there and a block there. Yeah, I think that's an okay size. All right, well, that is my shop built. I haven't actually stocked it yet, but I have, whoop, I have put these sea lanterns here just so you can see where I am going to put my stock. I'm going to remove those now though. I'm not actually gonna put the stock out yet though, because we are still currently, I believe, 
in 114.2 so people can still make their own god armor i am actually going to leave this until you are no longer able my words will come out no longer able to make your own god armor and then this shop will be well i would say priceless but there is going to be a price on it so i don't think that makes much <laughs> much sense at all we go shop coming soon now let's dye that beast up <laughs> that don't look too bad does it but look at that we now have our shop all made but we do need to sort the front out like i said so i was thinking maybe we could take like a little area out the front maybe we could do something like that i don't know if that looks any good but i did grab some acacia logs um I, I, what i want to do basically is have a little walkway out here and then have a way to get up that's down there. All right, so bear with me, okay? It looks a little bit wrong and ugly at the moment. But what I'm thinking is just terraforming this so that all of this is hidden. And this is actually sitting on some grass. Because at the moment, it's just a floating. <laughs> but what I want to do is down here, I want to put a... Uh, a, a bubble elevator and that's how you actually get into the shop i need to get some grass out i need to get some dirt out i also need some water i haven't got a bucket apparently um but yeah so let's terraform this hill up make it look pretty so i've changed this up a little bit i've decided to do an up and a down elevator because um i've kind of enclosed it in <laughs> but i think this is really cool it's like a little like viewing platform over the shopping district i really really like it um but obviously i haven't i ain't put that in but this is what it looks like from the front i'm really really happy with it i will go and grab some vines though i feel like it needs some vines but what i have done is i've grabbed some mycelium you probably already saw it in my hand anyway but this mycelium i've used a lot over at our base so i thought to kind of put a bit of a touch of of us over here maybe throw in some mycelium here and there so it does look like it's still kind of taking over the land a little bit this sign really hurts my eyes <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a it's a little bit bad i didn't think it'd look like that but obviously i had to do it magenta and spruce was the only sign i had all right. There, there are birch signs now, you know. <laughs> Look. I didn't have a birch sign. I, c I can change it to a birch sign now. That looks kind of cool. Yes, please. I mean, this is a... <laughs> I would say that this is a safety hazard. Picture this. Oh, my God. I have a day in the shopping district. And I'm like, ooh, what is this? By the way, we have to talk about what this thing is because I'm confused. But, ooh, <laughs> what is this thing? I go in here. Oh, yeah. elevators. Aha. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. And then, and then, ah, ah, ah. And I'll have to go to the doctors. <laughs> I have to go to the doctors. Yeah, you have to squint. All right. I, I, yeah. I, I don't know if I've got any magenta dye left, though. You know? <sighs> I, I I may have some. I may I may, <laughs> I may have some mobile magenta. Oh my goodness! Look <gasps> at that. I've taken one. Yep. All right, hang on then. I got this. I got this. Don't you panic. Your little eyes will be I've all better panicked. soon. My eyes are bleeding like they are hurting. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Look at how better? much better that is. Are you happy now? You, you're not gonna you're not gonna risk getting sued and people are not gonna be like, oh, I was walking down the shopping district to buy sand and then I got hurt by a sign. It's it's not like, you know, there's there's any hazards or anything here though. Like anyway, what what is this? This is this is new. This is new. Is this a Sahara build? A Sahara build? Why would it be a Sahara build? I'm um, just thinking as a partner, you bring in the diamonds for Sahara. Is that is that what we're? Um, is, that, is that? No, 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 no. This is this I, is I, my build. My build. I, not Sahara's build. Am I hearing we can talk about it? We'll have a chat about it later. Um, we'll no. Refine the partnership. No. 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 We'll talk about it. I'll send. <laughs> I'll send my. I'll send my people to talk with you people. Your people, and then they can <laughs> have a coffee and. Yep. Anyway. Cup of tea, biscuit, digestive. Biscuits. Digestive. I like digestive. <laughs> digestive with Philadelphia cheese. Uh, oh no. my goodness. Dunked in the tea. My God. So what is it? Is I ain't telling you. You'll have to wait and see. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. Thanks for giving me a headache with that sign. I appreciate it. <laughs> You're welcome. Thanks. <laughs> thanks. But like I said, you'll be contacted by Gertrude. Yeah. She'll, she'll reach out. All right. Good talk. <laughs>
<laughs> so everyone, as you would have seen, the shop is now finished. Like I said, I'm not gonna stock this up just yet. I'm gonna wait for the, uh, oh, hang on, the new release. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. And then I will actually stock this beast up and make us some monies and we're gonna be rich again is the plan. But yeah, I'm really happy with the shop and I think it stands out and you know, it's not too intrusive. I don't think. <laughs> it is supposed to look like a helmet as well, just in case I didn't say. Um, they do look different on the body like this that they do actually in the inventory like this. So um, yeah, I kind of done it like the one that was in the inventory, <laughs> but I'm happy with it anyway. So everyone, I hope that you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, then please give me a thumbs up. It's always appreciated. And if you really enjoyed it, then please hit the subscribe button and I will see you all next time. Bye. And that was for you beauties that have been missing the bye. <laughs>